So now that you've got your website live, your website's personalized a little bit, now it's time to start getting some leads. And one of the quickest ways to get leads as an agent member is to really go in and set up landing pages or leverage the landing pages that are already built out there for you to drive qualified traffic to those and convert them into leads. Here's one example of one that all agent care websites by default have a home value report page already set up. All you have to do when you launch your website is go to yourdomainname.com forward slash go forward slash home dash value. You can check out the URL right there. But you, there's another way you can find it as well. Okay, so I'm going to show you where to find landing pages, how to adjust landing pages, and how to even create new landing pages as well. So I'm going to hop over here into the back end of, your, of, a, of a dashboard and go to the content section. The content section is where you edit anything around content on your website. Or you can always use this edit bar when you're browsing your website when you're logged in. You have to be logged in to see the edit bar. The edit bar is going to be up here. You can always click edit landing page or edit the page that you're on through there. So go to the content section and then go ahead and click landing pages. This is where you're going to see the landing pages that already exist and be able to edit them or create new ones. So by default, you're going to see if you're a real estate agent client, you're going to see the home value report. You're going to see the step two. That's the thank you page of that report. And there may be some other ones in here for you as well. Um, but for sure, you're going to get the home value report and the thank you page for it. The first thing you want to do is pop in there and, and check it out. Just click view and you can view that home value report page. It's going to look something like this. It'll have your branding in it, your phone number, and it'll have the form that collects the information with this information. And it will be localized for your area too, which is really, really cool. So you can edit this page by clicking edit landing page and you, you're going to be able to pop right over in here. And there's different options here. I'm going to give you a quick tour of the landing page builder and then we're going to build a page together. Okay, the first thing, here's the title of the page. No one really sees it. This is just for you. Here's the URL of the page. With landing pages especially, you want to make the URLs pretty friendly. So you can edit the URL and make it uh, nice and easy to remember or, or nice and friendly for people to, to know. If you're setting up one that you're going to be using in videos and things like that, it should be really, really easy for them to remember. So if you're selling river homes and you want to drive them to a river home landing page, it could be forward slash go slash river. So you'd say, hey, um, if you're looking to download or looking to get on our list for updated river homes, just go to blah, 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 dot com forward slash go forward slash river and check it out. Okay. So this is the content section if you want to add a video or any written content. But the page that I just showed you actually doesn't have any written content in it. It just has a form in it. So down here is where you add the form. And with Carrot, you can add any forms, unlimited forms. You can customize forms. You can build new ones or just use the ones we already have. Uh, there's already a home value uh, form built into your agent carrot websites and some other ones too. So you can see we've selected the how much is your home worth form right there. So that's the one we're using. You can, you can edit the form there if you want to. And then down here is where you can add a background image if you want to. So the background image that we're currently using is just the default background image for the home value landing page. But if I want to add a new background image of this house right here, let's say, or this river, I'm just going to go ahead and click that one right there. Click select. You can see it added it right there. I'm just going to go ahead and click update and I'm going to refresh this page and now you'll see the background image got swapped out with that really cool photo of the river. Okay, so some other settings that you can check out inside of here. When you're creating a landing page or you're editing a landing page, the main things you're going to be working with are the content section possibly. Most of the landing pages we create, we don't even do the content section. We usually just use the forms for the content. And then this over here where it says landing page template. And there's different options where you can put the form in different spots on the page. You can put the form on the side of the page. We'll go ahead and click update and check out what that looks like over here. Uh, you can see the form now is adjusting over the side of the page right there. It looks weird because there's no content here. Anytime you do the form to the side, you're always going to want content in this section here. Okay. Otherwise, if you don't have content in that section, just go ahead and choose one of these other ones. That's the form above content, but of course there is no content here. So you can see the form goes right there or the form below the content. Okay, but like I said, we don't have any content on this page. We're just using the form, all right? The next thing is you can do is you can make the menu visible, which the menu is just the links at the top of the page. For landing pages, we usually hide the menu to where you don't have links and things like that at the top of the page, or you can do other things as well. You can make the menu visible, the footer, all kinds of things. Our default is making the menu hidden. We usually make the, the opt-in box centered and then if you're going to put a video or any written content, then you'll make the content visible and then just swap out whatever background image you want to put in. Now I'm going to show you guys actually how to create a landing page from scratch if you want to. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do 
Let's go to the landing pages tab and just go ahead and click add new. And you can either create one all the way from scratch or another way you can create one is you can find one that you already like and you can just duplicate it. So let's say you want to create specific landing pages for each particular city that you want to work in. So just go ahead and click duplicate and it's going to duplicate that. So a home value report, um, you know, Gresham, whatever that city is, and you pop in here and just put Gresham in there, whatever that local city is. And then if you wanted to create a different form just for Gresham, you could go in here and create a new form and attach it in here. Otherwise, use the same one that, that's for the other market cities. You could add a new photo for Gresham, then you just go ahead and publish it. And that one is it would be completely done and ready. Okay, or you can create one kind of like this where it has content in here. This one's actually a niche landing page for this client who does a lot of river home sales. So they went ahead and created a landing page with a great river background an opt-in form that's custom for this particular um, landing page, which is for river homes, and they typed a little bit of content in here. So we're just gonna go ahead and for sake of time, we're gonna create a new landing page, but we're gonna do it just kind of copying that content over just for the sake of time, okay? So let's say we're creating a niche-based landing page. It's for river homes, so the river home list, whatever it is, so let's pop over here and let's make sure the URL is correct, river. I'm just gonna do that one as river to make it nice and easy if I'm doing a call to action on a video. Uh, let's say I want to make that centered up. I could even put a video in here if I wanted to. Let's go ahead and grab this video case study from a carrot, uh, carrot cast. And let's say we wanted a video to be at the top here. Okay, we'll just go ahead and click, uh, click copy and paste and put it right in there. Now I'm going to go over here to the options. And let's say that we want the opt-in form above the content, above this content here. We want to make the menu hidden. And then we want to make this image, that image works just fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and click publish here. And we're going to look at this new landing page that we had just created. Okay, so we now see the awesome image there. We see the, the form up there. And now we, we see the content down here. Okay, now that form right or that page right there, let's say I want the form to go below the content. Let's go back, hop over here, make the form below it, click update. Oh, oops, I didn't change it. I make the form below it. Okay, click update. And then that's going to put the form below the content now. So now you can bring the video in, your copy comes in, all that stuff, kind of cool, right? The rule of thumb, you want to keep the form as high up the page as you can. Now look at this other, there's a couple of other um, pages that we can show you here that they've got set up. Look at this one here. This one works really, really good if you have a property that you're looking to sell. Um, this is a great, great one that actually converts great. Get instant access to the current price and 32 pictures of this ranch property. All that we had to do to create that one was we created a new landing page. Okay, we went over here and created a new form just for that particular landing page so we could send them an email that went directly to that, that form and, and also so we could tell which leads came in through there. Okay, we typed a little bit of content on that form and we just published it and that was it after we uploaded the photo of that, of that house. Okay, so that's the basic process of setting up landing pages. To recap, you're going to go into your dashboard, go to content, go to landing pages. You're going to find some that are, that are already in there ready for you to use. Just go ahead and click the View tab and you can use that. Or you can, or you can duplicate those if you want to duplicate it. Or you can create brand new ones from scratch. One thing you're, you're going to want to do with all of your landing pages is you want to decide, am I going to send them to a thank you page like this here that they go to after the home value thing? They send out, they fill out the, form, the first step in home value. Now they go to the step two. You can send them to a thank you page. You can send them to a, a, a separate page in the funnel like this, it gets more information. You can send, you can just give them a note that says, hey, thanks for submitting your form and keep them on this page. What we suggest is always having a thank you page to forward to. And what you will do there is that's actually done through that form. So if this is the form you're using, just go ahead and click form settings and you're gonna see confirmations. And this is where you can see the confirmation is actually sending them to this page. It says after they fill this out, redirect them over to this particular page on the website. Okay, so every landing page should have a landing page, should have a form, and then you make the decision if you're gonna send them to a custom thank you page or somewhere else on your website. If you have any questions about landing pages, let us know. We're gonna keep on coming out with new tutorials showing you different types of landing pages you can build, and we really, really, really appreciate you and we're excited to work with you.